Hey Gemini, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Valkyrie Degree Tarot. We're just going to jump in and see what's going on with uh, you today. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising in the North Node. So it's not going to resonate with all of you. This is a general reading. But for more readings after this, uh, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777. And <clears throat> I do offer same day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Gemini, so it looks like here that um, there could be some things that could be really annoying, conflicting, frustrating, like within you, within yourself, or within, you know, something that you're going through and facing, and or maybe dealing with others around you. There could be some battles, conflicts, um, maybe you willingly just kind of, you know, just not feeling the greatest and kind of going out and there's some drama and problems and kind of getting yourself involved in that kind of stuff. Um, if it's not that, it's just something that you're trying to kind of figure out <clears throat> and it might be frustrating and you're trying to fight for it. Um, there's a lot of things that are pretty hidden and unknown in the situation that you understand, but you're working with that to see what you need to do. And it looks like with that, you do still have a lot of hope and goals and dreams and wishes within the situation. And so it looks like you're planning for that. You've made a decision to figure some things out. It looks like it's to basically kind of just keep to yourself. And uh, maybe seek some guidance or counseling possibly within the situation as well. Okay, so it looks like here that <clears throat> you're basically closing out. So there's some things that you are closing out. A lot of cycles and chapters and things being done here. Okay, a lot of things ending. And within your own level of success and recognition and who you are and what you're focused on and what you're wanting to do here for yourself, I do see. Okay, um, there are some things that you're, kind of, you're keeping just kind of, you know, hidden to yourself. I don't really think it's too deceptive. I think it's just you kind of keeping... Um, you know, to yourself about your own path when it comes to money, business, and finances and what you're trying to work hard towards and build towards here. 
um, and you making emotion, an emotional choice to, you know, do something here within your own position, like I said, job, career path, whatever it is that you are focused on and what you're trying to create and what you're doing here for yourself. I feel like this is more like you just having hidden um, plans in terms of business. You know, logic, finances, you know, uh, projects, all sorts of things like that. More so than it is like you being deceptive towards people or something. Yeah, you're basically focused on just uh, making things pretty balanced and equal and neutral within what it is that you're focused on within your own career path, business, money, like I said, job, day-to-day -day life here. There's something that you understand that you have to kind of remove yourself from and walk away from. And whether it's like a small project, hobby, a little business endeavor, whatever it is here, it's like there are some things here that you want to become more equal with when it comes to yourself, your life, you know, others around you, something with your career path. And then there's other things that you see that just really aren't worth your time anymore, time and space. And so <clears throat> you're basically working on and figuring out what it is you need to do while you're at home, okay? And how to continue to bring in the stability for yourself. Um, something going on at home, it looks like that's where there's a lot that you're facing within yourself and you're seeing and realizing within you, your, you know, your life, uh, whatever it is that you are focused on and what you're trying to do here for yourself. But at the same time, um, it looks like here, you know, what to do of like, of, uh, how to progress or what to do to progress in the situation. Um, there's still a lot because you are going through an awakening <clears throat> and there's a lot that you are understanding and realizing within yourself. In the situation i do see here that um that it maybe it may cause some of you to just want to like you know go travel relocate kind of get like move you know just um what's it called go for a drive in a sense here or just make some plans or now things are going to progress here because of the fact that you understand what's really happening here and there's a lot of changes you know that you are working with within yourself and your life and whatever's going on here okay now, um, in case you're dealing with these signs or have them in your birth chart, you could be dealing with uh, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thank you.